a video on identifying plastic. Uh, it's pretty simple. Most plastic parts, most, not all, most have an identifying stamp on them. It'll tell you what type of plastic it is. All right, so you just have to sometimes clean the bumper, clean the part real well, search all over the back side of it, look for the stamp, right? Uh, we have symbols are going to look like that. And in between it, it's going to have the identifier. And so I have a test piece over here. This is just a little bracket. See those little symbols right there? You're looking at that, those three letters in between. This is a Nissan bracket, right? And so they use this POM plastic. Interesting plastic. I don't really like welding with it, but you know, I've fixed some of these brackets before when I couldn't get them. You know, uh, if you want to fix stuff, you just have to kind of think outside the box, right? But, yeah, that right there, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for something in between those two little arrows that tells you what type of plastic it is. And it's just the first part of it, really, it tells you. You don't have to worry, worry about the rest of it to blend. They'll sometimes tell you what to watch out for when you're working with the plastic. Sometimes they use like a elastic uh, compound, blend that in, and it'll cause problems when you're trying to heat, to weld, shape, any of that stuff. Uh, so it'll kind of give you an idea of what you could look out for. Uh, but most of the time, the first part you're just looking for is just that part right there. On that last video you saw PP plus EPDM, plus T15 or something like that, right? Those, all that was just a blend. The only part we really worry about is that first part, the first part where it said PP, right? It tells us polypropylene. Right. Just gotta look through the parts. Look for that stamp. If it doesn't have it, we'll talk about it in another video, how to look for it. Tune in again.